the story of Jairus and his sick and ultimately dead daughter, is a study of a man who is in crisis. We step in to an environment where we see this man going through a situational crisis, certainly for sure, perhaps even developmentally and existentially. He's facing a crisis point in his life. His name is Jairus, and we must understand something about this man. He is a highly respected synagogue leader, and he's facing a big problem. He is a key community leader, more than likely at the synagogue in Capernaum, the hometown of Jesus, the hometown of many of Jesus' disciples, certainly of Peter. But there he is, a very critical part of the community. And his crisis is that his 12-year-old daughter is seriously ill. And when we first meet him, Jairus, his daughter, is facing death. And what do we learn from the story? I will tell you that Part of what we learn from this story is the fact that everybody goes through crisis points. No matter who you are, you can be on the upper echelon of the social ladder of life, you're going to face your crisis points. You can be at the lowest rung on the ladder of social, socioeconomic status in life, and you're going to face crisis. You can be somewhere in the middle, but everybody goes through crisis points. Jesus himself made this clear. Let's take a look at what Jesus said. And John 16, verse 33, I've told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, what are you promised? What will you have in this world? That's probably not the promise you want on your refrigerator, correct? Okay. But it's a promise. It's a clear statement. In this world, you will have. You will have. It's going to be part of this world. You will have trouble. But here's the promise we hold on to. Take heart. I have overcome the world. So Jesus very clearly says you're going to have trouble. In Matthew chapter 7, Jesus makes again clear this principle of the troubles of life. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Please notice this. The rain came, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Notice rain, streams, and wind. Rain, floods, and wind. And beat against that house, the house of the wise man. Yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like the foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain came, there it is again. The streams rose, there it is again. And the winds blew and beat against that house, there it is again. And it fell with great crash, no, a great crash. The Bible, Jesus said, whether you're wise or you're foolish, the rain will come and the floods will come to your life and the storms will come to your life and it will shake every person. The difference is what foundation have you established in your life? Is the foundation Jesus, the rock of his word, in obedience to his word, or are you living a foolish life built on sand, but everybody faces storms in life. 